So, AJ. Yup. I got fired, dude. <laughs> I got fired. That sucks. I know. So, what was the official reasoning? Um, keep fucking asshole. Can we? There's like one dude with like a shitty fucking call... vehicle, dude, just doing laps. Are we allowed to call them the F word if you know you're uh, referencing South Park? I don't know. I don't know because even South Park was a little too edgy with their shit sometimes. True. In right, retrospect, anyway. who knows? Anyway, uh, the final reasoning was well, he said poor performance, but then he went and he said that my poor performance was because of other people. So he admitted that the reason why you weren't getting shit done was other people's fault. Yes. So what what exactly was happening? Like, were they just piling too much shit onto you and I mean, not basically, evenly like, distributing it? You know, D- TLDR, I, uh... It, it, was, it was more along the lines of, like, the person couldn't do his job quick enough, so he couldn't help me with my job. I had 80% of the shit to do. He was... He was basically, like, shipping and receiving, but when he was done his shit, which only was supposed to take about four hours throughout the day out of an eight-hour day, uh, he took, like, six hours to do his shit. So, like, that only left me two hours to do anything, and so everything got, like, jumble-fucked at one time, so I couldn't get anything done. So then, you know, I'd get shit on, and then he'd get shit on, and then I got fired. That was basically all that happened. That's bullshit. Whatever, man. Sorry, dude. It's okay. I was bitching about that job before. Anyway, this is the same job we were talking about before, that one cold opener where it was like, Mike hates his job. Yeah, I mean, you've you've been on, a, like, a steady, slow decline in terms of, like, your satisfaction with that job, and I think it was just a matter of time before I this mean, shit I've, happened. Man, I've been on a slow, like, satisfaction decline with any of my jobs lately, because I just feel like I'm obligated to do them. Dude, there's, like, a plethora of, like, really shitty fucking, like, low-paying retail jobs, and then there's, like, warehouse jobs which exploit the ever-living fuck out of you, mm-hmm. and then, aside from that, it's, like, you pretty much have to get a trade and be, like, a plumber or an electrician or some shit and sell your soul. And then you'll just work, like, for yourself at some point, but even then, it's, like... I mean, it's nice to learn a trade, so that way, you know, in case shit breaks around your house, you can fix it, but, sure. like... You know, it's just a matter of, like, this whole, like, chase your, chase the American dream. You can be anything you want when you grow up. No, bullshit. Like, you have to be whatever the hell if pays you have well money, in your area. If you have money, you can be whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, and it costs money to make money, and it costs money to do the things that you want, and ultimately, things are costing way too much fucking money. Like, it's something's got to give. It's very true. So, I guess that's all I got for a cold opener. Alright, man, let's go the fuck into it. Warning, all Podunk Punk's content on all social media videos and websites are intended for your entertainment, however. If you are the type who is easily offended, please find the nearest plastic bag and promptly drape it over your head. We engage in satire, give crude commentary, curse, and, well, you get the gist. We're not saints. We're the Podunk Punks. And if you like our shit, be sure to subscribe. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. What up? What is up? What up? What's up, everybody? Ah, uh, low energy mic. No more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that shit. Shake we off that shitty job. Are the podunk punks? Yeah. He's he's Lord Mike Bedlam, and I'm scowling yeah, out. We're not saints, and we'll never get this fucking cold never. opener right three times in a row. Cold opener. Uh, intro. see what I mean? Intro. Uh, intro. We can't get anything right. You can I get can't a, even get the names of shit right. You can get a nice view of my anime, co- or my manga collection. Oh, my, yeah. Uh, Yo, what, uh, what do we got? Hey, hold on. Pull out the raunchy shit. Where's the raunchy That's, shit? Uh, hold on. Let me get the raunchy shit. Oh, Yo, this one. The first, the, the, the first, no. The, yeah, yeah, the first, this one. Yeah. Yeah, hey. dude. Yo, it's fucking Tenchi Muyo. Tay, tay, tay. All right, so... Uh, can you see what's going on and kind of, kind of read it? You know, you can't read it off, but no, it's okay. No, Y'all no. can, I don't know what they're seeing. This might have to get censored. I don't know if someone's getting fucked or not. No, I didn't even check getting, it. I mean, it's not, this one's not a hentai. Oh, okay. It's just fan service to fuck. Look at these cute little rabbit fucks. 
Oh, it's look, like at, a little, look, look at these! Look at these cute little rabbit fox. It's a little mutant Pikachu. It's like <laughs> yeah, a like proto a little, it's Pikachu. Like a, yeah, it's like a Pichu with long ears. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> have you heard no. of this? Yeah. Okay. Have you heard of this fucking phenomenon that's been going on in the uh, UK? Uh, milk shaking. Milk shaking. No. Yeah. Basically, oh, every hold on, hold on. Let's wait for this shit to go by. I know. It is. This I is can't. Our, uh, I can't not have my windows open. Yeah, it's way too hot. It's too hot. Hey, there we hey, go. Hey, it's like a blessing from the god. The the god. The god. Not naming any names, God. But um, <laughs> Allah. Allah. So, Tor. In the UK, there are far right uh, politicians and shit like that that are making their circuit rounds for a political party called UKIP, which is um. Let me see if I can... We got into an argument with one of them on Twitter. Yeah, we got into an argument with some UKIP supporter. Fucking yeah, asshole. Let me see if I can pull um, it up. The UKIP party, UKIP, is a hard Eurocept skeptic right-wing to far-right political party in the oh, United right. Kingdom. I gotta get this. Hold on. I gotta get the the atmosphere right for this. Here's, uh, here's a star on of a cock getting hit with a fish. Yeah, so in tandem with the uh, milkshaking, there also comes fishing, apparently. I guess it's whatever. Uh, I'd I, I prefer getting hit with a milkshake over fish. Personally, I would too because fish already smells rotten. Milkshakes can smell pretty good. Like, you go home, like, your wife is like, oh, what the fuck is that smell? Oh, yeah, I just got hit with some fish. Fish? Who are you fucking? You know, but like, if it's a milkshake, it's like, ooh, you got that strawberry Let cologne on you? Ooh, oh, dude, the shamrock bitty, bitty. shakes smell all oh. minty. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Uh, whose stripper dick are you sucking? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, uh, let me see here. UKIP originated as the Anti-Federist League, a single-issue Eurosceptic party established in London by the historian Alan Sked in 1991. Yada, yada, yada. Ideologically positioned on the right wing of British politics and having been characterized as far right since 2018, UKIP is characterized by political scientists as a right wing populist party. UKIP's primary emphasis has been on Euroscepticism, calling for the United Kingdom's exit from the European Union, EU, um, a.k.a. Brexit. Aren't they also... Uh Ethnostate supporters? Yeah, it promotes a British unionist and British nationalist agenda encouraging a unitary British identity in opposition to growing Welsh so, and Scottish nationalisms. Hold on. So Nazis. Uh, hold on. Hold, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, they're d- developing, I, I mean, kind of, in a sense. That's where the, the slippery slope goes to, ultimately. Mm. But it was all this, like, nationalism shit. But, um... Political scientists have argued that in doing so, it conflates Britishness with Englishness and appeals to English nationalist sentiment. UKIP has also placed emphasis on lowering immigration, rejecting multiculturalism, and opposing what it calls the Islamification of Britain. Influenced by Thatcherism and classical liberalism, it describes itself as economically libertarian and promotes liberal economic policies. So Mm. basically, fuck everything about it. (laughs) Um, The only thing that makes it progressive is it says on social issues like LGBT rights, education policy, and criminal justice... Oh, it is conservative. Okay, never mind. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Having an ideological heritage stemming from the right wing of the conservative party, it distinguishes itself from the mainstream political establishment through the heavy use of populist rhetoric, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so everything about it fucking sucks and uh yeah it, it's it's basically watered down thatcherism generic far right alt right bullshit mm-hmm. um and now that all of these uh people are making their circuits like i said they're getting milkshaked and all that kind of shit now milkshaked <laughs> my milkshake brings other what are they what would you call them? what would you call them you kips to the you yard kips, you kips mud kips yeah you fucking mud kips Tommy Robinson's been milkshaked. Nigel Farage has been milkshaked. And Carl Benjamin has been fished. And uh, they're all affiliated with UKIP. They're all UKIP. That's why they're getting egged and fished and shit like that. So here's what I have to say. When you start spouting rhetoric that is inherently, like, leads to political violence against other people, a.k.a., like, you know, some kind of identitarian nationalist state bullshit... Um, fucking anti-trans, anti-LGBT, fucking ethno-state, whatever kind of bullshit. That is a form of political violence. And I think retaliation is 
almost mandatory. I'd say, you know, it's it should be expected. Like, yeah, you're not- these are people defending themselves, and they should be lucky that it's milkshakes being thrown at them, to be honest. Like, yeah. that's that's a mockery kind of thing. Like, they're not really hurting you. It's almost the, it's the modern-day equivalent and the less violent equivalent of uh, tar and feathering, honestly. <laughs> Pretty fucking much. So, like, it, it, I don't know, man, like... I get here. Let me ask you this: Is it? And I'm just playing devil's advocate real quick. Mm-hmm. So, I remember, I think a while ago on the show, you said that you didn't think that it's okay to like punch Nazis in the face. Yeah, I've completely changed my stance on that. You really do believe that? I firmly believe that. It depends on the Nazi. Let me put it this way: Your local shithead posting shit online, like huh, fuck, you know. N word, you know, fuck, uh, <laughs> fuck, uh, fuck all these people, yada yada yada. Your local dipshit online, don't punch him because all that's going to do is draw attention and give him a victim complex, make everyone rally around him, etc., etc. However, people who are actually promoting like Nazi esque politics, fuck them. Yeah, like no, you're right. th- the the slippery slope that that is inherently tied to them. It leads to violence. Their their rhetoric, all that kind of shit, leads to violence. You can't have a peaceful ethno state. You can't drive people out that don't want to be driven out without using violence. And you know, like this whole abortion rights bullshit. Taking abortion rights away from women is a form of political violence against women. Thus, I feel that retaliation is, you know, it's it's a good thing. Like Punch that's local- defense. That's a form of defense. Punch your local Alabama senator in the face. I, I will not endorse that. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to say that on the show. But um, if you want to, though. But whatever you do, definitely do not send wire hangers to her office. Wire hangers? Yep. That's a great... That that's that's brilliant, dude. I posted that on our fucking Facebook. As it it has her fucking uh, address and everything. You can just send her wire hangers. She'll get the point. Flutter with. Wait a minute. Them. Hold on. Time out. Isn't that doxing? Um, no, I think it's her, uh, like, like political mailing address or some shit, or public mailing address. I don't know. I don't think it's, like, her actual home address. Maybe it is her home address. i got to look it back up. I mean, if it's, if it's their home address, we might want to delete that. Well, I'm just sharing something that somebody else posted, so they'll ultimately get in trouble. Well, they might ultimately get in trouble, but we would also be imbibing in, you know, doxing. Oh. Uh, so I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should bleep that out, since apparently I shouldn't, you know... Grow well, it's fine. How about this? Shit. How about this? I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how about this? I'll take it off at 12 p.m. Uh, what is it now? Tuesday, Wednesday, th- Friday. I'll take it down, and whatever you do, definitely do not save that to your computer. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just don't. Whatever you do, do not take any screenshots. Yeah. Uh, please don't take any. Screenshots. We're not going to flash it on the screen now. So. <sighs> Let's uh let's move on. Anyway, <laughs> continue, AJ. Mike. You're driving this thing. I mean, that's pretty much all I had. That's all all these far right dipshits. It's I think that's not even yes. Throwing a milkshake is a form of violence, but it is like on the spectrum of violence. Like on one side's fucking genocide, and on the other is like you know fucking like blowing fucking cold air at people you don't like. I don't fucking know. Like. That's really far to the left of that spectrum. Like, it is not that extreme. Like, for what they are advocating, what it leads to, and what they're trying to open the door to, because everyone knows what the fuck they're trying to do. Everyone knows that they're trying to, like, expand that fucking Overton window more to the fucking rights. So they can get away with saying more and more shit and enable more and more fucking, uh, crazy fucking ideologies to bubble and surface. Th- that's what they do, and so this is a warranted form of defense, in my opinion. No, like you, to- you totally hit the nail on the head, dude. Like I think, uh, just like with uh, you know women and abortions, like I don't think you know I didn't don't actually think they should go out and start punching senators in the face, but like, like some some form of retaliation in any form of rebellion, it- it's it's just like you know warranted. Yeah, it's warranted one hundred percent. Especially, especially with the assholes that uh, are basically trying to say that oh, if a woman, if a woman has an abortion, then she's committing murder, so she should be tried. And you know, especially in states where like fucking death, penalty death penalties bullshit. are still live and How well. Can you call yourself pro life and be for the fucking death penalty? Yeah, that that I don't. It's okay to take. It's okay to take a person's life. 
if they've lived their life, but if they haven't lived their life yet, then fuck them. Or I mean, then no, then no, they're take okay. That my in bad. Yeah. And yeah. Jesus Christ. My bad. I'm, <laughs> I'm 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 doing two things at once. I'm getting I'm getting ready for the shitstorm. Yeah. We're talking. we like we're on the theme of Nazis today, AJ. Oh God. We're on the theme of Nazis, so I had to I had to get prepared. Okay. Now. Anyway. All right. So speaking of Nazis, there's still a fish on my screen. Why is there a fish on my screen still? Is this still nope? All right. Owner of Krispy Kreme and Panera Bread acknowledge they're not the Nazi pack. Everything's fucking linked to Nazis. Everything. Fuck off. Mm. Nazi punks. Fuck off. Nazi punks. Nazi punks. Nazi All right. Punks. Get that article up. Uh, the article's up. Oh shit! I don't. I, I didn't have it up on my shit. Okay. Let oh, me, uh, so, so you're the one that's not oh, no, the fucking one. To shut the f- what? What? What is it called? Uh, not, uh, Nazi punks. Fuck off. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme and Panera Bread. Panera, Chris, hold on, I got there it. it is. I got it. Okay, yeah. so. Yeah. All right, hold on. I got to get my ninjutsu on over here. All right, continue. <laughs> the, 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 the lights are fucking it up, man, because it's like they can't see that it's the Leaf Village. Oh, my God. That's the most important part is that you need to know that I'm from the Leaf Village and I fuck shit up. Butt pussy. Put the pussy. The Leaf Village, get it? Germany's second richest family, which owns steaks and Krispy Kreme Panera and other food brands through Germany called Jab Holdings, J-A-B, acknowledge links to the Nazi Third Reich. During World War II, <laughs> J-A-B forced French prisoners of war and Russian civilians to work in the company's factories. J-A-B plans to donate $11 million to charity to make up for its Nazi past. I mean, that's Good? a... Okay. That, I mean, okay, yeah. Cool. That's fine. Good. Retribution. If your company is, like, completely done a 180 now and has no more ties to that fucking shit yeah don't I, I swear to god I, I didn't know that i thought bagels were jewish the german family that holds majority steaks and food brands including einstein brothers and bagels Krispy cream donuts and panera bread had close financial ties to adolf hitler's third reich a german newspaper reported okay. privately held jab holdings funded by the raymond family in 1828 forced french prisoners of war and russian civilians to work in its factories during world war ii According to Build Tabloid, uh, forced labor was also used in private villas belonging to the family, which today owns 90% of JAB. Albert Ryman Sr. and his son were avowed backers of Adolf Hitler, and Ryman Sr. helped finance the paramilitary SS forces as early as 1933. You Jews better make those bagels correctly. You do not, it's going to be very bad for you. Both have passed away, but they actually belong in prison. Well, a little late for that. Okay. <laughs> what? What? Dude, oh, wait, what? Hold on. Being in prison is better than being dead, in my opinion. I mean, it depends on the prison. Because then mean, it's yeah, just like prolonging like the yeah. shittiest existence you could have. Well, no, I, I agree, but like life imprisonment over like the death penalty, though? I don't know. Like I said, it, I mean, if you're getting is an like, end to your suffering. All I don't know, dude. If you're if you're getting pegged every day, maybe, but still. Okay, the company does not dispute the newspaper's findings and plans to donate about eleven million to charity as a result of learning about its past. Harf told the paper, "How do you just suddenly learn about your past?" Yeah, like how how do you not know that you are linked to a reich of people that. A bo- like, like annihilated, a whole bunch of shit. annihilated a f- whole fucking race. Like, ah, Jesus Christ! All right, moving on. What do we got next? Next, uh, the Minecraft creator Notch wrote that he would rather be fascist than a trans person. Jesus fucking Christ! What is wrong with you people? No, you, you, why would you? What? Why? Why would you rather be fascist? Uh, the creator of Minecraft managed to sink to an into a new low. After he encouraged his followers to punch a commie and said, the only good thing, the only good commie is the one where your fist is connecting right this, with right this second. Jesus Christ. Can I just say of, something about what the this? Fuck? So, what he the encouraged fuck? his followers to punch a commie, so the only com- good commie is, you know, the one with your fist, yada, yada, yada. So, let's, let's think about this for a minute. He wants fascism, which is inherently a violent fucking ideology, no matter yeah. how the fuck you look at it. It's a crackdown on the fucking human rights. And, like, 
Okay, most commies embrace a lot of aspects of anarchism because it takes a lot of aspects of anarchism to get to communism. Like, in a sense, you kind of have to, like, blend aspects, mix and match. and Revolutions. You know. So That's an anarchy thing. Well, I mean, yeah, and there's different ways to cause a revolution. There's revolution and reform and all that kind of shit. There's a huge debate revolving around that. But anyway, like... Most people want, like, a leveling of hierarchies and, like, equality, egalitarianism, and all that kind of stuff. So it's like, why is it that the only good fucking commie is a dead commie, and yet you get to be, like, walking... You think it's okay to say fascistic shit, yada, yada, yada. Mm. Like, one of these things is not like the other. One of these things are dead. <laughs> You're right. Like, it doesn't It doesn't make sense to... Uh I don't know. I don't, I don't think it makes sense to invite, incite violence like that in any regard. I mean, whatever. I could say that the only fucking... Well, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Um, he wrote Hold something... On, say it so we can beep it, because it'll be funnier. It's okay. <laughs> Even though the tweets were very controversial, he wrote three hours later to not punch anyone. Dude, you can't backtrack like that. You can't say, oh, fascism, fucking punch people, and then be like, don't punch people. <laughs> Wait, I would rather be a fascistic cunt than have a feminine dick, so gladly. Wait, no, not the past PA. Not the last PA. What? what? I'd rather be a fascist cunt than have a feminine dick, so glad. What the fuck, man? How someone how to slap someone through the internet? Shh. Oh my god! Said like someone who's never experienced the mouth feel. You chose to use the word correct pronouns here. I'm completely fine with calling people whatever they prefer, as long as it's not like low you a million dollar snow. But it's clearly wrong pronouns. Oh. People should celebrate being different if they are, not claim it's not. What the fuck, man? Who get okay, okay? So there's like a couple main fucking pronouns that belong to like 99 percent of sane fucking people, and that's you know he, she, they, them, and like maybe like Zer and Zim and like weird I, I, shit like that. See that one I don't understand is like Zer and Zim. That's kind of it's a new new words get invented all the time, and maybe it'll make its way into the mainstream. But that's what I, I'm saying. It's know. like one of those fringe words that you know maybe some people want you to use something, but like why not? Just not be a fucking asshole about it. Like, if somebody, like, corrects you on that and says, this is what I want to be referred to, what is the difference? Like, if you have to change your language when you're in front of, like, I don't know, your grandparents, you know, as opposed to, like, when you're around your friends and shit like that, what's the difference between having to change your language a little bit around a fucking trans person that politely asks you to? Yeah, you're, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. When I first met, when we first met Canned, uh, like, I, I had to ask what, them. Know, pro, yeah, what, what pronoun to give them. And that, that was that, like, I, I'm still having problems with it because, like, I can understand, like, We've been raised a certain yeah, way we, we've with been, language. Yeah. It's a second language, you know? we got to incorporate it. Yeah, like, I don't have any problem calling you that. Just please don't don't get upset with me if I accidentally... Trip. Trip. Like, like let me put it this way. I can understand... I, I would probably be easier to, memor uh, to remember to call you a her than a him, but them and they is where I have problems because I'm used to two people being there. Right. You know? So it's it's... That's the same that, like, yeah, issue it, I'm having a little bit. Yeah, so you got to change your semantics up, and it's kind of hard. Yeah, so the, I mean, that's why I prefer to call canned canned, right? Because that's still that's like a amalgamation of it's a them. And some people are okay with like dude as a like omnisexual term too. See, I always feel I always feel weird still calling chicks dude sometimes, but I don't I don't I don't know why. I'll say it like, "What the fuck, dude?" Yeah, you like, know, like yeah. that kind of shit. Yeah, like, I, like when I'm talking to my girlfriend, I'd be like, "Dude, you have no clue." Like, yeah, that that kind of shit. That's I what I understand. Mean. Like, I hope nobody would get offended at that if I yeah, said that because that's more of like a. Uh, 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 that's a, that's a social thing. Like you you can, dude is such a like man and bro and and whatever like would you rather me say dudette and bro dude bro broette <laughs> broette broette 
Yeah, it's a uh, it's a Brosis? it's a uh, word that fucking spices shit up. I forget yeah. the fucking you know what I mean. Yeah. It uh it depends on how you use it. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, people should go. Oh, I should let you know. I actually prefer. Then the other person goes. Oh wow, sure, okay, sure thing. That uh, bro. I mean, okay. People should go. I see what he's saying. Oh, I should let you know. I actually prefer to be re- referred to as him. Then the other person goes, "Oh wow, okay, sure, bad bro." But instead, the left pretends to go, "How dare you not know I'm a man? You fit." No, anyone in there, you see. Well, no, anybody who does that is kind of a. It's, it's a, they they see. Some people don't seem to understand that even though times are changing when it's coming to these gender identities and everything, like. People aren't like people who are doing the gender identity thing aren't. Are, they don't seem to. They're like us. Like we just explained. Like we're still having a hard time saying they them. So you can't be mad at somebody if you seem if you're dressed like a guy, and you they say thanks, dude, because they think you're a man. You can't be like I'm a woman. Thanks, you know. Like that's yeah, I can that's see a very that kinda... that's a very like. Uh, egotistical thing to do because well, it's say- like a it's it's like one of those things where you know that makes me cringe because like because I don't I don't I, I think you should be like oh times are changing and uh, you know people still aren't used to this right. so be like correct them don't Extend be the like yeah both ways yeah it, correct them if he if he's going to be nice enough to be like sir or ma'am. You need to be kind enough to be like, I'm sorry, this is what it is. Right. You know? And then from there, they can either be like, oh, okay, I'll cooperate, or they'll be like, no, you fucking trans, whatever, fuck you. Ew. And Ew. That's when... Ew! That's when you fucking milkshake them. Yeah, that's when you, like, slap them with a dead fish. Yep. Yo, you know what that reminded me of? Can we get off the topic for a second? Because hmm. I want to I wanna bring back the big cams, because we're fucking beautiful. Okay. Uh... You, that reminded me of that old um, Amanda show skit of the two hillbillies. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. The hillbilly moments like, knock, knock, who's there? Big fish. Big fish who? I'm going to slap you in the head with a big fish. Whap. Huh? <laughs> <coughs> uh, the Amanda show was fucking great. I did like the Amanda show. I actually liked <clears throat> Drake and Josh. Yeah, I did too. Uh, anybody who didn't like Derek and Drake and Josh might be a psychopath. It was a solid show. Was, Anyone who says it's I not, it's a it. fucking liar. Yeah. Piece of shit. Check this out. I made it so that, um, here, I'm going to let it, I got to let the, the peeps see it too because it's kind of fun. Oh, we're pretty much done with this article. So yeah, can, that's fine. You know. So, in uh, short, so fuck see, Notch. Yeah, fuck Notch, dude. He, he like, I'm still going to play. I already bought I mean, Minecraft, so I'm going to play it still. Well, can I can I say this? He says, but the left pretends people go, how dare you know I'm a man? You feel Okay, so here's the problem, is that these videos of, like, crazy fucking, like, fringe people make it onto the internet, and everyone bases their opinion on trans people around, like, these... I, I don't even want to use the term crazy because they're really not, but, like, you know really easily offended people and shit like that and everyone thinks that is the common stereotype of or archetype of a of a trans person it's not most trans people are fucking normal yeah most trans most trans people are some of the nicest people you'll ever fucking meet dude i don't even want to use the word normal like most trans people are able to extend courtesies to a certain degree and they'll also they'll also you know be I don't, I don't know. I've met a, a lot of really cool trans people. You know, mm-hmm. like I don't I don't understand why people can't just get over the fact that they're not not. I'm not gonna say different because they're not different. They're people. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't understand why people don't see these people as people. Right. It's very it's it's very fucking. Uh, what's the word? Shitty. All right. So. It's one of those things where, like, as long as there's oh, consent sorry. involved between two people, fuck it. Yeah. Like, as long as they're not, like, you know, outwardly a fucking pedophile and shit like that, fuck it. Like, really, mm-hmm. as long as there's consensual shit happening between adults. Yeah, why Why is it a problem? Like, two gay guys should be able to fuck each other if they want to. Fully informed Full, consent, I should say. Yeah, fully informed consent, yeah. Anyway. All right, so Fish, 
Um, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. So next we got Tucker Carlson oh, said some pretty Christ. racist shit. Okay, he ain't getting away from this one. Let's do it. Right. Let's do it. Right, Let's do it. Rock is a crappy place filled with a bunch of, you know, yeah. semi-literate keep primitive buried, monkeys. Keep it. Oh, it. Whoa! 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 We, will. Whoa. we got a zinger here, oh folks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Tucker. Coming straight out of the gate with the fucking semi-literate Jeez. primitive monkeys. Yo, Tucker, dude. Not listen, cool. Look, man. Put the bow tie back on. <laughs> right. You you might the bow tie was obviously oh restricting God. like blood flow to your brain and Just making so you, you less cognizant say of saying shit. stupid shit like that. Put it back on the fucking uh, the fucking tie you got going on right now. Released a little too much juice to the racist fucking part of your lizard brain. Yeah, that's like an orange on gold. Holy shit! I don't know if there's something wrong with the contrast of this fucking video or what. But anyway, oh man. Oh my- Jesus, that's terrible. I'm ready. All right, I'm braced. Oh, hold on. So, this so was 2006 to 2000, 2009. Uh, there, I don't know, man. That that's kind of well. You know, people are just going to be like, "Oh, it was a while ago, man." Trump said that grab everybody pushed and shit. I don't give a shit. You're still politically relevant. Yeah, and you know what's even better is that if Bernie Sanders said something like this. Yeah. Or pussy. You know what? No. If They'd Bernie be on Sanders, it like white on yeah. rice on oh, a yeah. paper plate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to punch him. Whining from a black politician about how you don't like me because I'm black. Hold on. I want to see where he goes with this. I don't know if I do. I highly doubt that's the way the fucking conversation went, but okay, continue. Using racism as a defense. Right? You know, I can't. I catch you doing something bad. Well, oh, you're a racist. The, the Congressional Black Caucus exists to blame the white man for everything. And and what time I'm out. Did you fucking like? I don't know, like, call the cops on some black dude fucking grilling out in the park somewhere? Like, you are the whitest dumb motherfucker asshole little bitch yeah. that would call the police on fucking just some black dude didn't wear fucking uh, shoes in your fucking facility so you gotta throw him out because of it you know like that's the kind of shit you would pull yeah I think so so I highly doubt he's portraying you'd be the, this you'd be the dude. you'd be the dude at a restaurant that asked for the manager to switch your seat because you're sitting next to a bunch of loud Mexicans <laughs> oh because it's true but well, he knows it's true you know white men you know they've contributed some, I would say, like creating civilization and stuff. I think they do. Okay, pretty, I don't know, pause it. You know that Mansa Musa was like by ratio the richest motherfucker that ever lived, right? What did he just say? What the fuck? Did he, he said say? that you know, uh, white people have contributed to civ- uh, to uh, have contributed a lot, like you know, creating civilization and stuff, right. like you know, right. the fucking. Africans never had a fucking, like, wallop in civilization. Like, the fucking Sumerians didn't fucking invent civilization. The fucking, like, the, fucking Ara- the Arabic, the Arabic civilization didn't come up with alchemy or algebra or anything like that. The fucking Muslim Golden Age, yeah, yes! like, okay. Jesus! <sighs> fucking dumb fuck. We wouldn't have Arabic numerals without them! Yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have... The numbers you use are thanks to... Continue. Continue. We're not going to get through this. I still can't out. get over, you know, Obama saying they're not going to, you know, they're going to attack me because I'm black. Bubba the love sponge. Dude. They were. Everyone did attack him because he was yeah, black. Yeah, they did. The, like, everyone acted in the exact way that we expected them who to. Was the, who was the one that brought up? Was it Trump was the one that brought up his birth certificate? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and like, he, he's just like, you know, I'm not, you know, he's like, oh, he's a Muslim, cause his middle name is Hussein. Oh my fucking god. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous. I mean, that are totally you kidding didn't me? Fucking dude, happen. dude, there were people outside of the White House the day that Obama was elected with pinatas yeah. held up in a noose, man. Yeah. They didn't fucking attack him. Are you re- are you fucking made of chocolate, yeah, Carlson? Oh my God. White chocolate, you fucking milk toast. F- f- mm, yeah, I know. Oh my God. I know. <laughs> Hit it. Everybody knows that Barack Obama what? would still be in the state senate in Illinois if he were white. Hey. Ah! Ah! Jesus! E. I can't stop. 
I can't stop pausing. It's five minutes long. I know. Keep going. Fuck. Keep going. Tucker, uh, 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 Obama would kick your ass playing basketball. Yeah. Just yeah, because I'll he's black. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he's black. That's the underlying implication. No, no, yep. He's a real brother. Okay, hold on. He is not a real brother. Dude, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Blama, blama. The Barack the Llama. He fucking... I, he was pretty fucking... He didn't talk with, like, a bonics or anything. Like, yeah, not no. like that's a terrible thing at all. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, he pretty much shaped himself to be, like... A politician. I mean, not even that, because you can... you People should be able to talk how they naturally fucking talk and still be able to be a fucking politician. I agree, I agree. Because that's a watering down of their culture. I completely agree. There's a, scene, there's a scene I want to talk to you about in... Trailer Park Boys, that is exactly what they did, too. They were on trial, and Ricky was like, Look, if I can't fucking cuss and smoke a good uh, a cigarette, I can't I can't defend myself correctly. Mm. So they just let him cuss and smoke. Mm. That I totally agree with that. We don't need all this fucking, like, the flippity flu of know? the glibity glue is the blibity blue. I mean, talk like people would talk. I mean, there's that, and there's also, like, you shouldn't have to make yourself sound, quote-unquote, white well, in order to be yeah. able to be a politician. But that's what Barack yes. Obama did anyway. He conceded that, you know? Like, uh, that, that's he why shaped he himself to be very like that. What? He, that's why he uhed a lot, because he was trying to, uh, like, get away from the eubonics. I'm sure he's a good basketball player. He says he is anyway. I've been watching I've been watching Obama's wife. Is it Michelle? Michelle, yeah. Oh, yeah. It seems like... Jesus Christ, he's only he's been in the office for at least a year at this point. You don't know Michelle's name yet. God, they might they, they might have her own. So they might be whitening her a little bit. What I, do you think? I tell you what, yesterday she got ghetto and started. Oh snapping my her neck. God, like, that's a real sister. No, right there. She, that's a Wait, real sister. Did you say, sister right did you say there. she snapped her neck? Sure Snap her fingers. She snapped her neck. I've been watching. I've been watching Obama's wife. Is it Michelle? Michelle, yeah. Oh, it yeah. seems like they might they they might have her own. So they might be whitening her a little bit. What I, do you think? I tell you what, yesterday she got ghetto and started snapping her neck i like that's a real sister <laughs> dude everything about oh this discourse is problematic yeah everything about this whole fucking conversation is a problem like okay like, first off i think they might be whitening her a little bit what do you think yo and, white out on him yo white out michelle obama dude and the response to that is like i don't know she's a real sister i saw her snap her fingers and sw- she got her neck. real ghetto oh my god that's not ghetto like how it's a fucking uh 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 uh, gesture gesture it's a fucking mannerism that's what i was looking for like that's what some people fucking do and you know what she's probably if anything because she doesn't i haven't seen her do that normally she's probably doing it as a fucking joke it's just like "Mm -hmm, like i'm gonna be a sassy whatever a white person could do that fucking show a white person could tucker carlson he's had people fucking bang on his door and shit like that Mm. like protesters and shit like that and he of course played fucking uh, Oh my god, my life's in danger. I mean, like, I'm saying, how does this Bubba the Love Sponge still have a show? Because, like, that was, that was, that was horrible. Like, that was some, I don't know, I've heard some really fucked up shit about Michelle. Actually, you know what's fucked up? I've heard more bad shit about, uh, Barack than I have heard about Michelle. Because everybody wants to fuck Michelle. Well, I don't know. I've heard, like, a lot of shit. Like, she looks like a man. Because she has, like, she took care of herself. Yeah, like, she, she got, was fucking healthy. She, she had muscles. Fit. I mean, I, 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 I mean, yeah, she looks good. Good for the former first lady. Better better than uh, George Bush's wife. I mean, pull, pull up a picture of fucking Michelle Obama real quick. All right. Keep this where it's at. Pull up. Just pull up a picture of Michelle Obama. Okay, just, yeah, there we go. Now, imagine being a straight male and unironically, like, not being attracted to that. She has big hands, dude. Hold on, let me get my true ship up. Oh, God. That, that's my true ship right there. <laughs> it's, it, that, is, that is the sweetest thing I think I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Have you Look seen? At her have just you loving seen, up that war criminal, dude, dude? Have you ever seen the the like? Yeah, like right here where he's passing her fucking candy at uh <laughs> at the at George, at his father's funeral. 
<laughs> Look at Trump, dude. Fucking, but Trump's like, uh, Hillary's like, what the fuck are you looking at? I don't know why I didn't get any candy. Why did I get any candy? You fucking, nobody gives me candy. Uh, Bill, uh, can't remember how fucking, uh, Bill Clinton. Uh, uh, uh Bill, I don't uh, know, man. Uh, Bill, uh, where's my candy? I offered you a blue be job. George. Hey, George, can, hey, I, can George. I get a mint? Yeah, there you go. Hey, George. Hey, hey, George. Give George, me a mint. Let me, get, let me get a mint. Let me get an extra one for my wife. Um, yo, he's cucking. Yo, he's cucking. Oh. He's cucking. Yo, cucker Bush. Yo. My dude. Oh, my God. All right, let's go back. To what a progressive part. scene, though. Oh, oh she needs to do less of that, man. Uh, people, more of people in Indiana, yeah. Pennsylvania. She's going to be a problem for him. She's got an edge to her that's bad. Yo, look at him. He okay, looks like- so he didn't agree with the co-host directly, but he said, I don't know, she's, you, you guys, you know, she does have an edge to her that's bad. That's not directly agreeing with him, but that's still... What 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 is the edge that she has? Is it the sassy finger snap mannerism thing that we just went over? Because that's not Sa- right. Sassy black woman snap. Yeah. 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 I yeah. agree. Yeah. People are expressing their opinions in America. Yeah, she starts getting that. that. She yeah. starts I'm getting that. Person, I'm not attacking her personally. I'm just saying, as a public figure, you just get the feeling she's got a, a major right. chip on her shoulder. No. Well, yeah, it's called like you know having had racist shit happen yeah, to you all your like, life, especially. Being like the first lady now to the first world, like the U.S.'s first black president, you know, like she, of course, she's gonna have a chip on her shoulder because the shit that they're saying about her husband, mm-hmm. you know, like she's. Um, I know. Oh, what he what he thinks makes a good immigrant. Oh my god, I'm ready. I hope. Hold on. I hope one day. Something- what do you think he's gonna say? I hope something. Uh, All right, I'm sorry, guys. I hope Please. something happens. Okay, well, I hope, don't hope something happens to the entire world. You know, U.S. where everything falls apart, whatever, whatever. But if that happens, I hope you turn into a fucking immigrant one day. I hope you have to walk your homeless ass because it was fucking destroyed somehow because of some fucking apocalyptic event. You got to walk your dumb ass across someone else's borders and experience what it's like to be an immigrant and not fucking pass because you're not quote unquote a good immigrant. Mm-hmm. They don't fucking well, want hold on, you. Hold you on. piece of we shit. We got we got to hear we got to hear what he thinks a good immigrant is first. But what do you think he's going to say? Um they got to have an education. Uh, they got to be white. They got to be from like a Scandinavian they, wait, country. Wait, you, you think he's going to say they're going to they got to be white? In some I mean, way shape or form that's what he's going to imply. All right, let's all right, let's do it. But there's some really good, I mean, immigrants. I just think it's you know, people who come to this- I just want to punch his fucking face. Mm-hmm. Look at this, dude. Look at that fucking face. Mm-hmm. Like. He has an oh easily punchable God. face. Look, like, I just think, you know, people who come to this, they shouldn't be, you know, people who are looking for a safer refuge. They should only be people who hold PhDs. That's like the most what? fucked up mentality I could, uh, that's what he's about to say. He's gonna say they should have like some kind of education. They're bringing their worst over here. You had a typical, typical, you know, Trump generic fucking rhetoric. That's ridiculous. That's L- listen, something to offer. He's there it is. Be really smart. You gotta be really you know smart. I mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I didn't, he just needs desirable. To so that's exactly. it. Hot if you don't, if you're, not, if you're not smart, you get to die. Aren't that's about it. smart, that's right, but people that come over and pick lettuce, I mean, I'm not saying that's an undignified, I mean, that's great, you know, and I admire people who work hard, but on the other hand, is that, are those people who are going to build, you know, a stronger country 20 yes. years from now? Yes, they are. Oh, Af- oh no, okay. How could you salvage Iraq at this point? I don't, you know, it's beyond our control. Oh! Oh God! Okay, so that yeah. means that means we should leave, right? Yeah, that means, that means we should get we the should fuck go. out and leave Thanks, them alone, Tuck. right? Yeah. Okay. Finally, Thanks, we Tucker. agree. Thank you, Tucker. That's the only thing I can agree with you. Somehow, the Iraqis decided to behave like human beings, or something. And that's where we diverge. For them or their culture, a culture where people just don't use toilet paper or forks. What and the I, fuck? I, and the way- Dude, holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit. Talk about taking a stereotype and running with it. He, uh... These semi-literate primitive monkeys don't use toilet paper or forks. Ooh, dude, how can you spout this shit and expect you know, not to shit for it? They treat women... You know, I, I agree with you. Their, their culture is, is... But you're in their homeland... And you're over there as an American who they hate, and they want nothing more than the Americans off of their soil. So I wonder why. Not play games. Second we, I mean, they can just shut the fuck up and obey, is my view. Whoa, whoa, buddy, American imperialism much, you piece of 
fucking shit. That was eight years after the Iraq war started. Holy so, like, shit. Uh, Holy shit. What did I just hear? That's not right, dude. That's not right at all, dude. Yo, fu- t- fucker. This is fucker, shut the look. fuck up and obey. Look, fucker. You shut the fuck up and you obey. You need to shut the fuck up and obey. You are our bitch. You're giving us the news, bitch. You are ridiculous, dude. I can't believe that shit would come out of your fucking mouth. Oh, I can That's- fully believe it. Mm. Go ahead. Continue. No, I mean, just, like, the, the time that we're in right now, dude, fucking news reporters get away with saying this shit. You know, how how much has his, uh, has any of his fucking viewing went down since then? Oh, no, probably anything, not. probably amped up. It's probably amped the fuck up because he's, he's probably going to run with this. I bet you he's going to start running with this kind of shit. He's going to try and say anything he wants, and I bet you he's going to get fired from wherever the fuck he, who he's in, Fox? Uh, yeah. Whatever, the Tucker Carlson show. He's going to get fired from the Tucker Carlson show and get put on fucking Blaze or something like that. I can't wait till he's reduced down to having his own just, like, nothing but a YouTube channel. Like fucking uh, Bill O'Reilly? Yeah. Bill O'Reilly literally just has a fucking channel with, like, I think it's like 200,000 subscribers. Oh, God. We're going to be a civilized country because no. the people aren't civilized. Uh, what exactly is civilized? He, he need to say, look, I'm a bigot. Okay, I'm a bigot. I don't like Islamic extremists. Like, if you are really heavily into Islam, I really, do. I, I'm sorry, I just don't, I don't care for you that much. And I don't care what that sounds like. You can call me yeah, a racist. Well, you can if you're you really want. into and whatever the fuck you're into, you can say into, that and I'll, I'll catch a lot of shit for you, you too. Could. I'd vote for you if you said that. Basically, we need a racist president. We need to get these Mexicans <laughs> out of here and the Islam. Let's kill all the Muslims. Well, I, <laughs> we need, I that. Think we I, need you know, that. I think you're... Oh! Whoa! Whoa! You're on to something? I mean, whoa! You can Rewind! That and not catch a lot of shit for you. You certainly could. I'd vote for you if you said that. Basically, we need a racist president. We need to get these Mexicans out of here and the Islam. Let's kill all the Muslims. Well, I, I, I kind of think, I, you know, I think you're on to something. I mean, you know, like a Klansman or anything, but someone who's totally unbound by PC rules. So we'll just say whatever the hell he wants. Oh, we got him now. We got Trump. Mm. He says whatever the fuck he wants, and he uh, enables think, all kinds of hate. Uh, I think I got a good, uh, I think I got a good sound clip for this one. Uh, this one. Nope. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, hold on. All right, you know, I'm done. I'm done with him. No, no, no. I, I got to hear. <laughs> Maybe we should kill people. I think you're onto something. <laughs> Why is it doing Our that? leaders demand that you shut up and accept this. We have a moral obligation to admit the world's poor, they tell us, even if it makes our own country poorer and dirtier and more divided. <laughs> you fucking big ducker. Oh my god. Tucker, you are such a fucking sow, dude. I, you know, I never expected something this fucked up from him, honestly. And it was like repeated shit. Yeah, it was, it was like, I mean, they were all on different dates, weren't they? I'm pretty sure, like, this is all like, yeah, multiple instances of him slipping the fuck up, dude. I can't, slipping up? He was, that dude, that shit was intentional. Yeah, I know. Are you I kidding know. me? Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Demeaning women. Media Matters caught me saying something naughty on a radio show more than a decade ago. Rather than yada yada yada, how this? How about this? I'm on television every weeknight live for an hour. If you want to know what I think, you can watch. Anyone who disagrees with my views is welcome to come on and explain why. Oh, so did he not, like, is this his response to that? No, they said something about him saying some shit... To a bunch of women, and then oh, this oh, is oh, right, right, right. Out. Okay, no, 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 you're right. I, I, I read that part. <clears throat> um, now this. No comments were made on that. All right, so nothing from uh, from Cucky here. Damn, dude, that was what the fuck? It's big. 
Is it Tucker Carlson? He's trying to say something. Why is it so distorted? I think it's because this this side of my uh this side of my shit is blown the fuck out. Okay. Well, what's next? Oh, damn, bro. That was that was a little much. Like that 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 it wasn't that that was boring or anything. It was that like I just I couldn't handle that much dumbass in one fucking sitting. <laughs> Like, Tucker Carlson, friend, person, thing, <laughs> you have problems, bro. You're about to have a lot more problems. Yeah, seriously, there. I mean, as the world continues to march forward past your dumb bullshit, you're only going to be more and more triggered, bro, so hold the fuck on. Racist no jutsu! Get, ah! your, get your preparation age, bro, because you're going to get butt hurt. Yo, uh, this is why I got the the headband on, man. It protects me from the racists. I'm what just, do we got here? Uh, we got a coin that apparently uh, God gave to this televangelist so that you can pray, you know, for, Trump. pray for Trump. Uh, let's see what's Are up. Are you sure? <laughs> do I have it up? I hope I have it up. Did I have it up? I don't have it up. This guy right here, he's about to sell you a forty-five dollar coin with Trump on it. They think we're and crazy, Jesus, but we're actually the same ones. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I do think How you're crazy. You All across America. How oh, it's praying? the Jim Baker show. This coin is our point of contact. When I asked right. the Lord why the coin, the Lord said, "Because when you take the coin, it's a point of contact. So your faith is being relieved." You with fucking a con. Of what a fucking pray, dickhead. Protect, you dude, fucking con artist. <laughs> Dude, you what pray a for fucking Trump? snake oil fucking going. What a fucking snake oil sales. Forty five dollars. That's a lot Dude, for a coin. That's a lot for a gold coin. Holy shit! I remember they used to be. Uh... It's a forty five dollar donation. Oh yeah. To what? Your fucking bonus buckets, you fucking toxter. Lard ass. What a cunt. Dude, um, first off, I would like to talk about the um, the parallels here from Mormonism, because. You know about the seer stone, right? Oh God, yeah. yeah so, like, you know, the only re- the only way that uh, Joseph Smith could uh, like directly contact God. Not, well, not just directly contact God, but also be able to translate uh, the Book of Mormon from e- Reformed Egyptian, which doesn't exist, to English. To English, he needed a seer stone. And that's his point of contact with God, so God could tell him what to write down. So get yourself a coin, so forty-five get you, dollars. Get yourself a coin so you can uh, talk to God and ask Him why the fuck He has all this shit going on in the world right now. I'm gonna buy a coin and ask God why the fuck He has dumbasses like this selling coins. How about you uh, feed? How about you make Africa not a desert? And wisdom and counsel over the President of the United States and over his family. <laughs> Okay. King Cyrus and Trump. Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> King, King Cyrus. Cyrus bro. <laughs> Holy shit. The fucking Persian. Oh my god. Yo, dude. So are they comparing Trump and Cyrus? I think so. Oh no. The coin is engraved with photos of King Cyrus and President. The fucking Trump. Persian king, dude. Why Why is. T- Trump would hate that. Yeah, you know, actually, shouldn't it be, uh, shouldn't it be Xerxes? Because he was the god king. Uh, uh, Isaiah forty-five one. Oh my God! Oh, and you know, Doth Trump is- saith the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus, though whose oh. right hand I take hold of to subdue nations before and to strip kings from their armor, to open doors before him. So that gates shall not be shut. I know why they chose that. It's because it's 45 Walls. and Trump is 45. Yeah. And that's the only reason why they went with the fucking Cyrus and thing. Be- because the door is the gate and the door is about the wall. That- <gasps> the Bible predicted the wall, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. <laughs> the teaching that is here 
this coin yeah. is a point of contact. Yeah. This uh, twenty-four karat gold-plated coin. Dude, I love how I love how he keeps like emphasizing the fact that it's a point of contact with God. It's like oh yeah, that's the like, main feature. Look, look, you need to understand. You will talk to God with this fucking coin, this little piece of fucking metal that you can get out of the ground. Mm-hmm. And, uh, by the way, I had I had to. Uh, I couldn't uh, copy the Sanhedrin model. I told them I would do an original. So we found uh, a nicer picture of the president. To use. <laughs> well, that's we have our own written version of it. But what uh, we want to do is we want to be able to start Jim this movement. Got 16. <laughs> it's called the Cyrus Trump coin. <laughs> It's, we got 16 months and then what? It's a, it's, this battle for the future of America has already started. 16, 18 months. We're already in it. We're in the battle oh, right for now. Fucking we need to be praying now and not captive to gloom or anxiety or fear, but channeling our, our optimism in the direction of God's begun a miracle. Let's keep that miracle going. Oh, no, dude. Yeah, Trump has... I like how they added that. Trump has, uh, Trump has had five... Uh, wise with three divorces. What a Christian. Or five child, excuse me, five children from three different marriages. Examen separated immigrant children from their family. God, I hate how obnoxiously huge his fucking signature is, dude. Mm-hmm. It's bigger than the fucking, like, words on the page. Mm hmm. Uh, passed a massive, massive tax cuts for the wealthy at the expense of the poor. Yep. Yep, that's, a, yeah, Trump does not, mm, does not deserve to be put that, next to Cyrus the Great. You know, they could have at least gotten rid of the crow's feet, dude. Yeah. Like, they, they got his crow's feet all in that fucking, like, right there. Yeah. Like they should have, they should have. Like they didn't put crow's feet on Cyrus. See? Yeah, you know, like. Well, I mean, back then you probably only lived to be like, you know, maybe well, sixty probably. Well, I average. mean, regardless though, like you know, the most most paintings you see of people usually aren't the exact person because maybe they have a little flaw, uh, flaw or whatever. So if you're gonna like put somebody on gold, yeah. Why if you're gonna put somebody on gold, that's apparently like a contact directly to God. Why the fuck? Would you still have? Why would you make him look like a fucking gremlin? I know this is all fake anyway, so why not fuck with Trump's face? Yeah. Uh, so moving on, we got a couple more things, but we are an hour in. Do you want to take a quick break? Because my ass hurts. I actually got to keep trucking through this, so right. um, want to see how quick we can get through these articles, y'all. You know? Let's uh, let's do that. Right. All right, uh, Alabama fucking steam. Jesus. Get out Jesus. of my ass. Jesus Christos. Exus steam. Okay. Alabama banned the gay wedding on Arthur. They fucking would. Oh my god. Right after the abortion thing goes down, they fucking banned the gay wedding episode of Arthur. Dude, Louis. What? Just stop. Like, okay, we we always hear shit about the South, like, seceding and all that shit. Fucking do it. Can we just, yo, like, parent, chop it dude, off and kick it off into the ocean? Yo, we made up, me and, uh, me and Asia actually made up the name of what Alabama, Mississippi, and Texas would be called if they made one big super state. Mm-hmm. Texabama Sippy. Stan. Stan. Stan? <laughs> Texabama yeah. Sippy. Stan. But you gotta, you gotta have the pause there. Love is love, but not in Alabama, where they just really like banning things. Thanks, man. For 22 seasons of Arthur, an aardvark and his animal friends have been entertaining children. Oh, did you know the uh, fucking Steven Crowder voiced somebody on Arthur? Uh, did he really? That's where he got his start. Are yeah. you serious? He voiced uh, Steven Crowder. Uh, Arthur. Uh. There you go, Steven Crowder. Um... He was awarded role the brain. I don't know who the brain is. The brain, Arthur. I wasn't really an Arthur fan. The brain was this little nerdy kid. Oh no, shit! That's actually kind of weird. Yep. So he voiced him. It's a small world. Wow. Um. Anyway, entertain. That Donald Trump was on the Little Rascals. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. Um. While imparting important lessons about friendship, family, and community, with the debut of its latest season, the titular character's teacher, Mr. Ratburn, yes, he's a rat, 
is revealed to be gay after students crash his wedding. It's amazing. It's an amazing moment of LGBTQ visibility and creates an easy entry point to talk about same-sex relationships with kids who might not know about them. Unless those kids live in Alabama, which doesn't think this show is appropriate viewing for See, kids. See, that's the thing, though, is that eventually kids are going to need to be talked about. With the, especially with the rapid growth in, in same-sex marriages since it was legalized. Like, you you need – kids need some way of being told what this is. How and, you know, regardless of your Bible Belt personality, uh, your Bible Belt fucking uh, ideology, they they still need to know what being gay really is. And just because you think it's evil – doesn't mean other people should you know like that's an opinion my friend don't yeah. don't don't force your opinion on children you fucking idiots plus with this whole censorship thing how are like how do people not understand what the fuck repression and exclusion leads to like if you don't expose your children to like key concepts in the world like this when they finally run into them they're going to be completely unprepared yeah exactly and like what what take it the wrong way yeah like what what's going to happen when they go into school like in i don't know let's say like uh uh middle school what's going to happen when they go to middle school and Two kids are like two boys are, are making out in the middle of, of the hallway or whatever. It's it's like, are they like what 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 reaction are you going to expect them to have? Like, are you just? I mean, I know what I know what expect uh, what reaction they expect them to have. You know, like what they're they're trying to get them to be the whole like no, that's a sin. Bible, whap, smack them, kill them. You know, like that, but. Children, man, this is, this is, I always get this way when we talk about children and religion because children and religion should not mix. Mm -hmm. You need to let them figure that out themselves. Yeah, you should not use your children as just a little hole for all, for you to just stuff all your own fucking beliefs into. Yeah, dude. According to AL.com, Alabama Public Television chose not to air Mr. Ratburn and the special someone playing an Arthur rerun in its place. APT programmer direct, director Mike McKenzie offered his response to the outlet about why the episode was banned. Quote, Parents have trusted Alabama public television for more than 50 years to provide children's programs that entertain, educate, and inspire. He also seemed to suggest the, that the use of extreme costs was out of respect for the children who were younger than Arthur, Arthur's target age. The instance, What fucking target age? It's, it, a, it's a show for toddlers. Right. Like, what the fuck? Like what? What? And who, who cares? With what? Like if a baby sees it, or if a fucking like two year old sees it? It's a fucking TV show. Like I mean, sees like people making out. Like, yeah, like, it's gonna happen in life. Like okay, they see their parents kiss. What the fuck is wrong with seeing yeah, two gay guys exactly. kiss? Exactly. Unless you're in a fucking home where like we only kiss on our anniversary. Right. In no, which case, that's repressive bullshit. Yeah. In and of itself. Um. This instance of systematic homophobia, because that's what it is, comes after Alabama passed an extreme abortion ban. Yep. Yeah. And they're just going to go on about that. Anyway, congrats to Mr. Ratburn. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Next, more Alabama. West Alabama newspaper editor calls for the resurgence of the KKK. Oh, uh, fucking course. Alabama, you get a gold fucking star for dumbassery. <laughs> A small Alabama newspaper is advocating for the resurgence of America's most feared white supremacist terrorist organization, the KKK. Uh, and go ahead. actually, um, that's kind of changed though, because it, it, like, the KKK has been on a serious like spiral ever since like the, I think like the seventies or something. The the most feared white nationalist uh, white supremacist organization. Right now, it would probably be the Aryan Brotherhood, even though it's a prison gang. Yeah. Like, I mean, they, they have gangs outside of prison that, you know, they're like sister gangs, basically. Yeah, I'm not up to date. I just know, like, they all hold hands, like the Ku Klux Klan and, like, the Proud Boys and, you know, all that kind of shit. They all hold hands and march to the same drum for the most part. Yeah, it's kind of weird because there are, like, white supremacy gangs out there that, like, are rivals with each other, but they have the same ideolo ideologies. I know. It's the weirdest shit. It's kind of like, you know, 
not to you know you know total fucking color code or whatever, but like the Bloods and the Crips had the same ideas, but they were at war together too. So I don't I don't know I don't get I don't get like gang wars. I don't get wars in general, dude. Peace and love, except for Alaska. <laughs> Fuck Alaska. Fuck Alaska. An editorial published last week by the Democrat reporter of Linden, Alabama, Linden. begins with the line, Time for the Ku Klux Klan to night ride again. Democrat reporter? Uh, the editorial says Democrats and Democrats and the Republican blank. Right. I don't right. know. Something must have got chopped off. Whatever. Right. Uh, the editor and publisher of the paper, Goodloe Sutton, tells the Montgomery Advertiser that he wrote the February 14th opinion piece and stands by it. Fuck. That thing that got chopped off is like an essential piece. Oh, no. During an interview, Sultan suggested lynchings as a way to clean up Washington. Sutton also... Yeah. I'm done. Shut it down. Between it. this and Fuck fucking it. Tucker Carlson. Damn it. Holy shit, dude. Dude, I thought we were over this shit. No, that's America. America, slavery in America is not dead. God damn it! This you people need to look at this shit. This is what comes in the fucking package with Trump. Trump enables this kind of fucking rhetoric. Serious. They're good people on both sides. Yo, just get Mike Ravel. Oh let Mike God. Ravel in. I want him to smack Trump with his cane. Yeah. Uh, during an interview, Sutton, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's anyway, a yeah. Fucking asshole. Basically, he just said, you know, it's time for the Q- the KKK to start back up. Just like, uh, hold on. You know what? I'm gonna look something up real quick. Wiki, don't look at my fucking history. Um, Ku Klux Klan. No. Damn it, damn fucking it, asshole. Let's go back. Go here. Okay, 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 okay. Third Clan has about five thousand to eight thousand members. Yeah, that's not that much. Which is like, you know, it's probably only like southern states in the first place. Aryan Brotherhood. Three, three hundred full members with 15,000 associates in and out of prison. Ah. So, guess what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're all bad. Yeah, they're, I, I don't know. They're all fucking terrible. Cotton swabs. A hey. man contracts infection in his skull after using cotton swabs to clean his ears. Holy shit, that's brutal. Dude, make a fucking uh, song about, like, some dude's brain degenerating because a fucking cotton swab infected his head. <laughs> you might have heard from your doctor that you shouldn't use a cotton swab to clean your ears. In fact, it's written on most boxes to put them inside your to not put them inside your ear canal at all. The multifunctional cotton swab found in yeah oh, fucking oh, we don't need a history of the fucking blah, cotton blah, swab. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone knows what a cotton swab is. Like you don't have to be like a bit of cotton left in the ear may sound harmless, but this uh, but in this case it wreaks havoc. States the article after the cotton swab. After the cotton swab bit traveled into the man's skull, luckily stopping short of the brain, he began to experience pain and discharge from the ear. Okay, well, he's short from the brain. Like, dude, you you obviously were putting it in way the fuck too far. Uh, no, dude. Hold on. Let me see if we missed something. Well, no, because here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. What probably happened was he, he cleaned his ear out, Pulled it out, and only a little bit of fucking cotton was stuck on his eardrum. So probably over time, it got behind his eardrum into his brain. Because you can't get past, like, you can't, like, you you would have to shove the shit through your eardrum to get past it. You're right. So, like, that tiny little, like, piece of cotton probably just snuck its way through behind. Because now you can get a swimmer's ear where you get like water behind your eardrum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same shit. Plus, I think like sinuses and shit. True. All right, anyway. Sorry. Good uh, good inferential there. Uh, Sorry. Shortly thereafter, he began to suffer neurological symptoms like strong headaches in which the pain was so severe it induced vomiting. Essentially, he suffered a seizure and was rushed to the hospital where a CT scan revealed two abscesses at the base of his skull Beyond the ear canal caused by the cotton. Yo, is there a fucking x-ray picture? I want to see. Nah. 
Oh, dude, that sucks. After a week-long stint in the hospital with some antibiotics, he's doing fine. Oh, well, at least he's alive, I guess. I guess. I guess. All right, let's double time. PA woman. Bus driver tells kids to go fuck yourself. <laughs> and go fuck yourselves and then abandon school bus at a ba- at a gas station. <laughs> Y'all bitches can get your own fucking ride. Dude, one of those kids could have fucking, like... 26 counts of endangerment, the welfare, endangering the welfare of a child. Dude, one of those kids could have tried to drive the bus or some shit and gotten in, like, some serious harm. I probably would have done that. Yo, can I tell you a story? Okay, so, one time... Okay, well, my my school uh, scheduled a trip up to the Holocaust Museum for for a field trip. And on the way there, you know, we had to go to D.C. We took, like, every shitty neighborhood on the way there. Like, we went through, like, the worst, like, barred-windowed neighborhoods, whatever, that you could possibly bring a bus full of children to. Well, actually, it's kind of funny, because if you you had to go to, like, uh, had a field trip to, like, I don't know, the zoo... Or something like that. You still had to, you still had, like, the Baltimore Zoo is in a shitty neighborhood. Yeah. Like, it's right next to a shitty neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So, like, you miss that turn, better fucking pray you can turn around or else you can get your fucking hubcap stolen. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> fucking, um, <coughs> but yeah, they, um, they took every, like, shitty road on the way there, and then my bus driver gets to this red light and just puts the fucking, uh, bus in park and gets out and just walks away. What? And we're all sitting in the fucking bus like, yo, yo, she just ditched. Like, she just left us and she just put this bitch in park and left um, us. Um, what? And, uh, yeah, we wait there for about like 10 minutes and then she finally fucking comes back and was like, yeah, sorry, I had to, uh, call, apparently there was somebody, like, a few cars back that was, like, one of the teachers, like, auxiliary, whatever the hell, caretakers or whatever, Man. and she got out of the car to, like, go meet up with them, but they were, like, three or four cars back or Why some shit. Why didn't she say anything? I don't I bet, know. I bet you it was a drug deal. D- who knows? I bet you it was a drug On deal. On the way there, we did count the drug deals. Did you really? Yeah, I counted three, my other friend counted four. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta do some editing right here. You gotta shake my camera and everything, it's like... <gasps> Racist no jutsu! Ah! Anyway. I'll give you some give you some shit to do later. Oh, I get my workout in terms of uh anal. patience. Anal. And anal. Anal. Anyway, Anations. what's next there, Mikey? Anal shins. But you just don't you don't want to go over it? Like, oh shit. Oh my god. Okay, I was still thinking about that fucking earwax thing. So the uh, the bus, the incident began Friday afternoon when Lori Ann Mancos, 44, appeared agitated as she drove students from Northampton Senior High School. At first, she she joked around about Mancos' driving, but they soon grew concerned for their safety as she began to swerve through the streets. Turn his, you damn kids! <laughs> turn his damn bus around. When there was now a turn... Now your precious little field trip, now won't it? Quote, but when there was a turn... Um, when a right hand turn, and when she shook, when she took it, she was going far too fast. Mason Persiani, oh, a student on the bus, told WMZ. Blah, blah, blah. Um, she ended up being halfway onto the opposing lane of traffic. Jesus. She, in a video showing the student's ordeal, one kid can be heard telling Mancos to pull over. So these are the kids like saying, "We want out." Like, please, Yo, no, who, stop. Um, before Mancos officially, uh, finally pulled over, uh, the bus at a gas station, Persiani remembers her telling him she, uh, quote, she ended up telling us to go fuck ourselves and flipped us off, you know, st- uh, stuck her hand in the air and flipped us off. When Manko suggested pulling, uh, o- pulling over the bus and calling everyone's parents to pick them up, the comment was met with a resounding yes. <laughs> She was like, I'm going to fucking call your parents. And all the kids are like, yes, please, get us off this fucking death trap. Just yeah, swerving in traffic. Help us. I don't want to die. Mommy. She parked the vehicle at, near, at a nearby gas station where she got off and prevented the kids from uh, from go making their way out as well. Making and then fucking making. Um making. The children were able to escape through um, the emergency door located in the back of the bus. Yeah. Uh, for Mancos, she walked away 
but not before handing the keys to a gas station employee. The school district was able to get another bus out there to pick up the abandoned children while some were able to have their parents take them wow, home. Wow, dude, that's fucking terrible. Holy you know, shit. If I was one of those parents that were called, that was like, Mom, fucking bus driver dipped, I would have probably taken like a car full of kids. Mm-hmm. Like, personally. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't Laws think get you can fucky do that. when transporting children. Yeah. As for Manko, she walked away, but not beforehand. Oh, well, yeah. I already read that. It was just a repeat. That's it. So we got to figure I out. See what some of these comments. Page. Always one in, always one in every bunch. Uh. Uh, and you, and yet you use a preposition in place of an auxiliary verb. A, what the fuck? I don't. Uh, that must be an argument. Does anyone proofread? Proof. Proofread. <laughs> God. All right. Fucker's name is Blue Glasses. Next. Horror of sleep paralysis hallucinations reveal 46 dark drawings. One, I'm a little bit panicked that I may find myself in sleep paralysis again. That's cool. So that's what, I mean, that sucks for people who experience that, but the artwork's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I had another one an hour ago. Decided to Photoshop an example. Oh my god! Fuck oh, that, dude. Fuck that's that. That's weird. Do they litter? Is that what they see? Yeah. Is just like people screaming at them. Yeah. They're just staring at them. You can see all kinds of shit. You can see a guy just standing in the corner of the room. You can. I've done that. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually had sleep paralysis once. I think because I remember there was one. T- I think there was one time that like I remember there was like just some like that one. That first picture, like, somebody was just, like, staring over me like that. It was the weirdest shit. Mm-hmm. Sleep paralysis. Oh. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like, you can just see shit at the corner of your room. Some Stranger Things shit. I use my nightmare creatures as my inspiration. Fuck that's that. Pretty, that's pretty cool. It's all, like, the faceless, like, weird... Yeah. See, because that, that's, that's the weird, the weirdest part is when something's faceless. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I don't know, that's just the most unnerving. Like, Slender Man, that's why Slender Man is, like, kind of a terrifying figure. Mm-hmm. He has no face, you can't put a face to him. Mm-hmm. Intruder. That's cool. Uh, oh, that's an art, that is a fuck, look at the dog. Like, ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> um, yo, she's got fucking hands for feet dog oh my god that's cool look fucking uh, upside down cross yeah <laughs> i too had sleep paralysis that's kind of cute that's yeah it's not really cool, a good though. depiction of it i mean it's not a creepy depiction of it but it might actually be a pretty good depiction of it actually from the other angle like when you yeah. open your eyes and see that that would be pretty that fucking be creepy fucking creepy as shit a drawing of something I saw during a sleep paralysis episode. No! Okay, that's the thumbnail. Uh, that should be the thumbnail. I'm making that the thumbnail. Make that the thumbnail with me, like, doing that. Okay. And wait, are we are we showing these? I really hope we are. God damn it. We are. Okay. okay. I wanted to make sure. Uh, sleep paralysis. Oh. oh, that's kind of weird. Fuck that. Look, Fuck that. That's kind of cool, though. God, I wish I could draw. That'd be fucking cool. <clears throat> the feeling of sleep paralysis. No. Um, uh. I don't really know what's going on here. It must be Russian, look. Yeah. Sleep paralysis self-portrait. I'm a long-time sufferer. Yeah, again, fuck that. Keep going. There's is like 40 paint? of these. Is that painting? I don't know. It looks real. Ever since that day, I prayed never to wake it again. That's fucked. That looks like the uh, Tormentors from fucking uh, Harry Potter. It does. You're right. A drawing of one of my sleep paralysis episodes. Experience. That's freaky. Mm, mm. I could not do that. Yeah, no. To hell with that. Oh my god, look at the other thing in the right hand corner. Go up. Oh yeah, it's just like chilling there. That's cool. Fuck that. Even the fucking couch has a face. Uh. 
waking conscious, wake, awake and conscious, but unable to move or speak. That's very uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. That's the guy that made uh, Invader Zim. Yeah, I like that artwork style. My sleep paralysis. Nope. Big old nope. Uh, what was he? Must have been a junkie. Yeah. I can tell that you. Uh, I can tell you that sleep paralysis is not fun. Oh God. That that'd be fucked. Some labyrinth shit. That's uh, that's some Dante's Inferno shit. Yeah, River of Sticks. If anyone, if anyone else has been through it before, you know that horrible, uh, horribly terrifying feeling. This is my own take on it. Whoa, yo, it's like yo, it's Zenyatta from Overwatch. What in the fuck? Describing sleep paralysis. Whoa, dude. Yo, it's like uh, it's like spirals. Oh, that's so cool. What in the fuck? She's bleeding in his mouth. Bro. So I guess it's like you wake up and you feel like kind of trippy and like you, you're just everything is like too enigmatic to well, overcome. I mean, there there are different kinds of it where like um, some of them literally like whoops, some of them are literally like you are laying in bed, your eyes are wide open, but you're still you're not sleeping, but your body's sleeping, mm. so you just. You can't move. Other there are other ones where like you have like a out of body experience, so you're sleeping, your eyes are closed, but you can see yourself and whatever the fuck's going on around you. And that, I don't know that, that that's always fun. Ugh. All right, let's keep looking at some more, and then we'll move on to the next. Uh, article I like here. a lot of these. Uh. uh. Here's a painted storyboard shot for my new horror film called Tickle about sleep paralysis. Yeah, let's watch this. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'll look that up. This is a painting about sleep paralysis. If you've ever had it, you'll understand. Hmm. <laughs> it's kinky. Sleep paralysis is utterly horrifying, and I did quick... Ma- Ooh, that's fucked. Yeah. Oh, dude, fuck that. Uh-uh. Keep going. Uh-uh. Sleep paralysis succubus. I've seen this one. Uh, I've been having sleep paralysis for years, and I wanted to f- reflect the suffering you may feel in loneliness brings. Mm. Ugh. That's creepy. That's a nice painting, dude. Oh. Oh my god. Yo. What? Fuck that. If you've actually seen that, nah, fuck, that. fuck that. Sorry, dude. bro. The Sandman. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Yo, that's awesome. I like that. It's like, oh, dude, Jesus. Oh. Ugh. Have you ever been sleep? Have you been sleepwalking again? Don't worry, no, not anymore. Keep going. That's Just so keep fun. going. We're only on twenty-eight out of like forty. Keep going. Keep what? Going. Why? That's, that's too cute. Yeah. It's just okay. We'll just we'll see if we'll stop if there's any cool ones. That's pretty dope. Yo, Whoa, what? Dude. That's like surreal as fuck. It's like a, he's ripping out his fucking like heart or something through his mouth. What the fuck? That's crazy. A drawing of when I had sleep paralysis. Whoa. Nope. Big old yep. tall glass of nope. Uh uh-uh. uh. Big old fuck you glass of nope. Oh, I thought that was the wall. Yeah. Mm. Monsters under the bed. That is very true. That is exactly what it feels like, I think. Uh, me trying to sleep with sleep rails? Oh. Okay, that's not that's not as bad. Huh, this this dude just like chilling on the side of the bed. Nah, this dude just drew it in a fucking book. Like he probably woke up one day and he's like, "You know what? This is creepy." mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Oh, dude. Wow, fuck that. You know, it's funny because some people actually do have, like, reoccurring hallucinations when they have uh, sleep paralysis. Like, they'll see the same fucking thing. So, I feel like, I feel like at that point, you could say it's an old friend. Hey. Oh, Hey, God. buddy. How you doing? Hey, miss. Hey there, Mr. Beak Lady. <laughs> like, uh, how you been? 
I don't know, I think when you open your eyes and that's just the first thing you see, I don't think there's much getting used to it. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, Gabrielle Cran, youngest daughter of Slipknot's clown, has died. Damn. Rip. She was 22, dude. Uh, we're saddened to report Gabrielle Crahan, uh, youngest daughter of Slipknot's percussionist Sean Clown Crahan, has died. Uh, Slipknot confirmed the tragic news in a tweet earlier May 19th, saying, Just days after debuting the new masks in the un- Unsainted video and performing on Jimmy Kimmel Live, the Slipknot family lost a beloved member. Clown posted on Twitter, quote, It is with a broken heart and from a place of deepest pain that I have to inform all of you that my deepest, that my, oh, that my youngest daughter, Gabrielle, uh, passed away yesterday, Sunday, 18th, 2019. She was 22 years old. Fuck. Mm. Funeral uh, arrangements will be forthcoming. My family and I ask that our privacy be respected moving forward. Yeah, they, they don't know how she died yet. That sucks. Or at least they haven't said anything about it. 22 years old is one hell of an age yeah, to go. Yeah, definitely. And look at her, dude. She looks healthy as fuck. I bet it was like a... I bet it was a fucking car crash or something. Yeah. That sucks. Damn. Um, Yesterday, my little sister Gabrielle passed away. I'm in shock. Oh, so it's a picture of them when they were all yeah. kids. Well, rip. Well. F. All right. That looks like it's it. Oh, let me put the fish back on. So, I guess that's it. Oh, God, that was a hell of a fucking racist episode. Jeez. That was like, that was a, uh, a heap of fucking that was a shit, fucking man. Fucking doozy. If anybody wants this, uh, 100th subscriber gets this really old, shitty Naruto headband. Hey, there we go. Yeah. To protect them from the racism all night. Yeah, to protect them from, it's the, it, see this, this gives you direct gon, uh, God contact. To God. Oh, check out some of this uh, artwork I got from uh, Ellie Wick. Just to uh, just the spam. It's the same oh, person dude, I got this bag shit, from. Dude. Yeah, Ellie. Ellie is awesome, dude. She's a hell of a fucking. Uh, she's a hell of a fucking tattoo artist. There we uh, go. Uh, 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 on there. There yeah. we go. Yeah, get Ellie Wick in there, dude. We're gonna. I'm gonna see if she'll want to. She's very shy. But we'll see if she can come on the show. Dude, it's fu- it's kind of funny the way she talks. I'm not making fun of her while I am, but. <laughs> she's like, oh yeah, she's, she's very so quiet. quiet. I remember one time, dude. Everything is just like so special. Dude, she she had a uh, she. I, dude, I, I love her to that. She's funny as shit. I yeah, dude, that. I love her but too. She's there funny. was this there was this time where I went to her. Uh, I, do, I went to some fucking thing, and she uh, she was there, and I took a cigarette and I like flicked it onto the ground, and she like picked it up, and she's like, I don't like. I don't like littering. Uh, save the planet. And she put, she took it and she like put it into a Altoids box, mm-hmm. little Altoids tin. She is all about that shit. She's she's, she's a sweetheart. She dude. sits outside and smokes like you know like chain smoke cigarettes. And then when something happens, like in nature, she's like the first one to like see Notice it. Like it, yeah, but she's got like this bird she's taken care of now. Just like, I haven't seen Ellie in a long time. Yeah. So anyway, that's 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 her artwork. If you all want some cool, she she draws a lot of like fetus artwork. Mm-hmm. Oh, also, uh, also uh, check out Lily Underwood or uh, Underwood. Was that her last name? It's Lily uh, Wormwood. Underwood. Wormwood. That's it. Yeah, well, Lily Wormwood. Because she's she's pretty dope too. She's doing. She did a T-shirt for Odium. Hey. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's Hell yeah. This bitch, like, ripping her ears out and shit to noise. Noise. Skeet. So, that's our show, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. Hit that like button. Do that shit. Uh, check out our Facebook, our uh, Twitter, our Patreon, our, uh, we don't get on it, but our Instagram. Um,. Yeah, that's it. I'm Lord Mike Bedlam. And I am scowling out. Anything else you want to say before I hit this fucking uh, stop record button? Tucker Carlson can Too late.